All right, let's go ahead and get started. My name is Jimmy Talbert, and I'm really excited about what we're going to be going through today because we're going to be co covering some of my favorite topics, going to be covering different strategies to help you attract more leads, help you convert more clients, and help you automate process within your business, and going to be walking you through that. So just to introduce myself, uh, like I said, my name is Jimmy Talbert. I'm the head of marketing here at Chime, and I absolutely love what I do. So as we go through this content today, uh, my commitment to you is to deliver clear and direct information, to give you immediately actionable strategies with step-by-step -step instructions on how you can execute those strategies. I'm gonna use case studies and real world examples where I can. I'm gonna ensure that I answer 100% of the questions that you have. So if you do have questions, just go ahead and fill them into the, uh, into the chat. Just send them directly to me. I've also got Mr. Brandon Brugada working the, working the chat. He'll answer questions through the chat where he can and others will answer at the end of the uh, presentation. So there's also gonna be several surprises along the way for those who stick around till the end. So make sure that you do. Uh, I like to start off with a quote. Now the quote today comes from Mr. Howard Schultz. He says, in anything we do, any endeavor, it's not what you do, it's why you do it. And so my ask of you as we go through this information today is to think about your why. Why did you get into real estate? Who did you set out to serve? And uh, have, have you accomplished what you set out to do? And uh, where are you at with your goals? And be engaged as we go through this information. Uh, be open to new ideas, okay? What got you here is not what's gonna get you, get you there. And uh, be vulnerable that maybe what you're doing is, is, not what's, is not what's absolutely best for you to accomplish the goals that you set out to accomplish. And keep your clients at the top of your mind. Take notes and ask questions and make sure that you stay until the end. Like I said, you'll be happy that you did. If you're asking yourself, is this content for me? Well, are you a new real estate professional that wants to grow your business? Uh, then yes, this is gonna be for you. Are you an established real estate professional or team that's ready to leverage the power of innovative technology in this ever-changing digital world? Then yes, this will for sure be for you. Have you committed to differentiating yourself from your competition? and making, making a brand for yourself, then yes, this is gonna be for you. Are you open to new ideas? And then the most important one, are you willing to invest the time, energy, resor and resources to execute on the strategies that you learned today? Then yes, this is gonna be for you. Now this may not be for everyone. So if you don't believe in the power of technology, this may not be for you. If you believe a lead is lost because they ignore you once, then yeah, this may not be for you. If you plan on just operating like an employee as opposed to a business owner, this may not be for you. If you're just looking for that silver bullet or magic pill, then this content may not be for you. And if you just intend to follow the norm or the status quo, then yeah, like I said, this, this is not gonna be the presentation for you. So as far as who we are, if you're new to, new to Chime, uh, we're a community of growth-minded real estate professionals. Uh, we offer, a, innovative uh, real estate growth strategies to help you grow. And we offer the technology to actually help you facilitate those strategies. So another quote that I absolutely love says, a man without a purpose is like a ship without a rudder. And my rudder in what I do can kind of be summed up on this slide here. So on the left side, I've got a picture of me and my dad and my brother uh, at a football game. My dad was an entrepreneur in many ways. He was in real estate as well as in land development and did a variety of other things. And I saw him, uh, him kind of struggle at times. I saw him absolutely thrive at other times. And uh, on the other side, I've got my, my, my kids and my family. And uh, just like I raise my family, my, my children, so I've got a 10-year-old, a 8-year-old, and a 7-year-old, and just like I raise my children with certain core values and principles, here at Chime, we've grown and we've been able to grow at the rate that we have because we have a set of core values that we hire and fire based on and that, that we that we use. And so, uh, you know, we believe in people and their dreams. We empower real estate professionals to be successful. We listen, we care, we serve, and there's always a better way. And my favorite there is we believe in people and their dreams. And I think that's because growing up in a family uh, with a father who, who's probably gone through some of the same struggles as other people on this webinar, uh, there's not always people believing in, in some of your dreams. And so it's really powerful to me to be part of an organization that absolutely does believe in people and their dreams and believes in uh, the success that our clients can achieve. And so what we're gonna cover today specifically is 
Why do some real estate professionals thrive, yet so many struggle to simply survive? And what can you do uh, to thrive in this ever-changing digital world? And what technologies are available to help? Okay, so let's start with the first question here. Uh, why do few actually thrive, but most struggle to, to simply survive? Well, to answer this question, let's look at the ultimate survivor. So the ultimate survivor would be the caveman. And let's think about what the caveman's day really consisted of. So the caveman's day consisted of waking up, going out, uh, finding the herd of animals, hopefully, um, beating them with a club, beating one with a club, kind of singling out the weakest, beating them down with a club, dragging them back to the cave, eating fat and happy for a day. And then, and then the next day, hoping that the herd was in the same place. Well, this is very similar to the way that a lot of people market and a lot of people do things. Uh, so the problems with sort of that survival style of marketing is that you're always chasing. You're always chasing that next deal. You're always chasing the herd. You, you end up kind of relying on that spray and pray mentality to hope that the deals come in. And you end up lacking the confidence that your strategy will actually bring the surplus of clients that you want it to. And so that leads to a lack of execution for many real estate professionals. So let's look at a typical sales and marketing funnel and break down what this would actually what this actually looks like. So I'm here to tell you that the typical sales and marketing funnel in many ways is broken because it relies on many of the wrong things. So typical sales and marketing funnel uh, starts by generating interest. This is usually your most expensive part of your, of your funnel, but you get some leads out of it and then you sell the hot ones and you get a few new clients, you sigh in relief. Ah, oh, that felt good. And then you start over again. Now, the problem here is you're starting over with the most expensive part of the funnel. And this is a cycle that many people, many real estate professionals get, get uh, bogged down with. So there's some major holes in this, in, in this sales and marketing funnel. It starts with lost interest. So people who you meet that you don't get their information, people who call in and, and you don't call them back or people or you don't gather their information there. Uh, people who visit your site but never fill out a form. People who see you on social media but never give you, uh, n never, never, they're never followed up with. And then in lost leads, so leads that you actually get, but they're not ready. They're not, they don't convert right away. And then the last one is lost clients. So people who you have worked with, who maybe in the future work with someone else, or send their friends to someone else. Uh, you know, in in. Uh, a survey, they, they surveyed a bunch of people who, who had used one service and then used another. And when they interviewed them and said, well, why, why didn't you use this, this person again? Uh, they, they said, well, you know, they're just indifferent to it. It's not that they had a bad experience. And it was 90, 96% of people said that they were just indifferent. So if indifference is driving people to utilize a different service, uh, you know, utilize another, another real estate professional in the future, what, what does that say, right? That's, that can be awfully concerning. So let's actually put some numbers behind this funnel and break down what this looks like. So uh, on here, we're looking at, you get in front of a certain amount of people with your ads, with uh, SEO, with social media, with sphere of influence, and then you get, let's say, 100, 100 leads. And from that, let's say you convert four into clients. Okay, that's fairly typical uh, real estate real estate statistics here. Um, my question here is, what in the world happened to the other 96? Because the next month you're going to go get in front of more people, you're going to get more leads, and you're going to convert those same uh, that that same number of people into clients. Well, the other the other 96 uh, end up falling through the cracks. They're not followed up with effectively. Uh, maybe they just wanted a home value at the time. Uh, they weren't serious at the time because what? It's all about timing. Here's the harsh reality. People buy when they're ready to buy, not always when you're ready to sell. So what happens here is they get thrown in the trash. Now, the only way, there's only two ways really that you can double your, your sales based on this, this process. So you could double your ad spend and double the amount of time that you spend prospecting and following up, 
so that you can get eight clients instead of four. But at that point, you're not necessarily any more profitable. You're working way harder and get for the, the, the end result. Or you can automate that follow-up process. You can offer value with your conversations, with your education, with your, your, uh, your marketing content. Uh, you can educate them and help position you as the expert in the industry, nurture them along the way, retarget when you can, uh, eventually make that sale and rinse and repeat over and over and over again, okay? And to do this manually would be incredibly difficult, right? Real, successful real estate professionals quit the survival style of marketing. So let's look at this a different way. So I want you to think about your clients and think about your, uh, your practice, your real estate practice as a, as a strawberry field. And every lead, every customer is a strawberry out in that field. And if you've ever grown strawberries, you know that some, if, you, if you don't harvest at the right time, you get a, a harvest that looks something like this. And so the, the, the frustrating thing here is you got some furry ones up here, you might have some good ones in the middle there, and then you probably have some green ones in the back because you, you went through and the, the whole field at once. And so if you think about this in terms of your leads, what are you actually converting? Are you converting 5%? Is it even that high? Are you converting 10%? How many people realistically have no idea what percentage of their leads they're actually converting because they don't have the proper tools in place to do so? So if you're converting 5 or 10%, what you're saying is that your strawberry field looks something like this. You have this tiny sliver of good leads and then this huge amount of bad ones. Well, I don't know anyone who would grow a garden like this. In reality, I think that we can all agree that you really have something that looks more like this. You have some that are ready to buy and some that are ready to move forward and become clients right away. You have others that could be ready, just the timing's not quite right yet. And then you have some that are, are not ready today, but they have the makings of a good lead, of that ideal client. They just need a little, little bit more time on the vine. They need a little bit more love and they need a little bit more care, right? And then you're going to have some that will never be ready, okay? There are bad leads out there. There are people who, who just are, are never going to move forward with you and that's okay, okay? But what's the difference? Well, the difference when you're selling is communication. So 48% of real estate professionals stop following up after the first uh, after the first negative interaction. Now, the first negative interaction could be uh, just them not answering your phone or replying to emails. First negative reaction could be them not showing up to a, an appointment. But uh, over 60% are sold after the fifth interaction. And when you go to seventh interaction, it goes even higher. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that means that consistent follow-up is absolutely key. That means that you need to go out to your garden and water your garden and nurture those strawberries. And if you walk out there with a, with a watering pail, it's going to take a lot of work, but you're going to end up with the desired result. But what if in your, in your, your real estate business and, and in what you're doing every day, what if you could reach so much further? What if you didn't have to rely on that watering pail to get your desired result? What if you could reach out so much further? Now, let's compare and contrast the difference of the watering pail compared to the automatic sprinkler system. Well, automatic sprinkler system probably took a little bit of, little, little bit of work to, to get set up. Automatic sprinkler system, you likely wanted to rely on the skills of, of someone who, who's done it before. I know I've installed irrigation before at my house, and it was nice having someone there who, who knew how to do it but you're able to reach so much further. And at the end, you have something that looks more like a business as opposed to a hobby in your backyard. Now, when I'm talking about following up, I'm talking about communication, I'm talking about harvesting at the right time, it's all about a few things. It's all about ensuring that you're being targeted with your communication, that you're timely and, and that you're in front of the right person, that you're staying relevant to them and that your communication is personalized 
because what we're talking about is we're talking about building relationships, establishing trust so that you can educate them and convert them into being a client when they're ready, right? People buy when they're ready to buy, not necessarily when you're ready to sell. And so some takeaways from the strawberry analogy is it's important to know what's in your field and that you need to stop letting your leads rot on the vine. And growth happens when systems and automation are leveraged effectively. So question here, why doesn't everyone do it this way? Well, here's the, the inconvenient truth. And in this case, the inconvenient truth is not the movie on global warming. The inconvenient truth is that running a, running a real estate business is hard. You know, you've got things like your website, you've got your social media, uh, you've got, you maybe have landing pages. These are places where, where you're, you're likely getting leads from. Uh, you, you have all this kind of chatter in different places and that all the leads come to you in different ways. And then you maybe have different ways to organize those leads and what you do with them afterwards. Maybe you're using a spreadsheet. Maybe you have an actual CRM. Uh, I think that we've all been guilty of the sticky notes there. And uh, you, know, you have to have a scheduling uh, platform. You have open houses and things like that to manage. And when none of these systems are communicating with each other, what you become is you become this human USB cord that's trying to tie them all together. And when you're trying to do everything manually, what you're doing is you're running your real estate business based on a philosophy that says something like, if you want something done right, do it yourself. Well, I think we could all agree that this is not a scalable way to grow your real estate business. Uh, what I'd encourage you to do is shift that way of thinking to, if you want something done right, build a process. Process is in place for real estate professionals that are, are built to last, that are recession proof, okay? Process in your real estate business creates scalability. And you can't have scalable process throughout that entire prospect and customer journey without the appropriate systems and automation in place where necessary. In fact, Entrepreneur Magazine recently said, in today's competitive real estate environment, automation is not a luxury. It's a requirement for keeping a competitive edge. In fact, the benefits of automation are so numerous, you can't afford to ignore them. And this is why a company like Chime is, is in place. So Chime is an all-in-one sales and marketing platform specifically built for real estate professionals. Okay, we offer you IDX website, optimized marketing, and a powerful CRM. Okay, so things like optimized uh, lead capture include, you know, your premium IDX website, uh, high converting uh, ads. We've got uh, built-in social media integrations, Facebook ad forms, buyer and seller lead generation. And then we've got the most powerful tool. Now, I want you to keep in mind as well, we are, are the only uh, real estate specific software that is 100% lead source agnostic. We have lead source uh, or lead generation services for people as a, for our clients as a, as a service, should you want to use them. However, if you get your leads from anywhere else, from realtor.com or Zillow or anything like that, that's absolutely fine. And where the, the ultimate power comes in is helping you convert leads into clients. All other real estate specific software companies want to talk about lead generation. Well, what it really comes down to is there's lead generation in real estate is kind of a dime a dozen. So what we really want to do is we want to focus on converting those leads. And that comes with things like dynamic lead scoring. Okay. A mobile app, additionally, a software that's built mobile first. So it's built in a way that, that gives you the ability to do 98% of what you would do on a computer right from the palm of your hand. It's, it's absolutely incredible. And dynamic Facebook retargeting. So this gives you the ability if someone is on your site or, or doing anything to then retarget them with similar properties with, or, or with the same property. So whether it's properties in the same neighborhood or the same property, but hitting them in a dynamic way so that you're staying in touch and we're driving them back to your website. Um, you know, power dialer and SMS, uh, buyer matching, that is, is available from anywhere. Uh, smart suggestions, uh, giving you insights into what people are doing, how people are engaging with your website, how they're engaging with your marketing, and exactly when to follow up. Um, we also give you the ability to nurture your leads automatically with powerful CRM, automated buyer alerts, built-in automated marketing campaigns, 
uh, proven campaign copy that, that absolutely works, business goal reporting, and so much more. Now, this is a lot in one software, and so what we do is we ensure that you're never looking at it alone. So rather than, than you sending an email to tech support and hoping that someone gets back to you and going back and forth that way, we give you a dedicated success representative who works with you one-on-one -on -one and will always work with you throughout your, your uh, lifetime here, here at Chime. They're gonna know your business, they're gonna understand your business, and they're going to be there for you to help you grow. So what our plans look like is we've got an agent plan and we've got a team plan. And the agent plan comes with three users. Uh, it comes with 10 smart plans. So what a smart plan is, is uh, a, a strategy or process that's, that's uh, there for you. It, it, uh, so it helps you, helps you grow. So the ultimate difference between the two here is the, uh, the, the user count here. And then also there's, there's a few things in the team that, that aren't, aren't in the agent, but not many. You, you need a team for those to actually be applicable to you. Uh, so it's, it's really exciting to be part of Chime right now because we've we got a lot of people talking about us. You know, Inman, uh, they say it's rare uh, that a software and strategy can, can so smoothly overlap, right? Uh, you know, Tammy from, uh, from, from Exit Realty, the CEO. Uh, we're excited to add Chime to our elite premier partner program so that Exit agents can be more mobile and spend less time on the mundane tasks and time selling. Uh, you know, we've got, uh, we've got Hillary here saying that Chime is a delicious breath of fresh air. Uh, the program is user-friendly, connects to all my leads, uh, to my Facebook accounts, and yada, yada, yada. She's excited there. Uh, you know, we've got awesome CRM. We've got uh, you know, Ruth, who's, who's excited about uh, the CRM features and the robust nature of them. And, uh, and Tom here that is, is excited about how user-friendly it is and, and that it's as mobile as he is. So being that it is a few days before Thanksgiving here, uh, we do have our Cyber Monday promotion that I, we're rolling out uh, for the first time on this, this webinar right here. And so what, what that is, is like I said, when you get started uh, with Chime, you get 10 smart plans. So 10 smart plans are different strategies, whether they're strategies to make you more efficient, whether they're marketing strategies, uh, ad strategies, things like that. Um, and so what we're doing is oftentimes what we'll do with certain partnerships, stuff like that, is we'll actually sell additional start pl smart plans uh, for $100 a piece. So we, we have a total of 30, um, but people, people, uh, when they get started, typically pick their first 10. And so what we're doing for our Black Friday promotion is as opposed to the 10 smart plans that you'd normally get, uh, we're gonna give you 20 of them for free. So, so 30 total, that way you have every possible strategies. Now these smart plans are selected from our most successful uh, clients and partnerships that we've done with industry leaders and, and, and people who are, are really killing it in this business. And so these are strategies that are, are, are worth a lot and, and that they're, they're exciting. And we'll, we'll load them right into your, into your new Chime application, all 30 of them, so that you have everything at your disposal to be successful, okay? You can always count on us for things like secure data hosting, uh, for the fastest loading IDX websites in the market, right now. So this, that's important. If you, are, uh, if you are ever buying ads, you want your, your website to load fast. We, uh, we typically, so the last test that I, I uh, witnessed was at one of our events, and I won't say who the other company's websites were through, but uh, ours loaded 15 times faster than the competitions. What does that mean? Well, if you're buying ads, for, Google says for every second, your site takes to load, you lose 10% of the people who are, are waiting for it. They just abandon it. So if you're paying by the click for an ad, you're paying for people who never even see your website. And so it's, it's something that, that is absolutely critical and it's a platform that's as mobile as you. Uh, it's tested and optimized uh, within, within the, the advertising and marketing strategy. Uh, and we're, we're a true partner in innovation. We, we decide what, 
what we're going to add to the platform based on our clients feedback and our clients uh, information. So if you do want to take advantage of this, this uh, offer for the, the free smart plans, I'm going to put a link into the into the, the chat. And all it is, it's not going to ask you for uh, payment information or anything like that. Let me drag this over. All, all it's going to do is you fill out this information. That's going to connect you with one of our guys. And they're going to be able to help you they're gonna walk you through, uh, be able to recommend anything uh, that, that you need, make sure that you get everything that you need and also that you're not paying for anything that you don't need. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna drop the link to this page into the chat here. All right, and then let's go ahead and get into uh, Q&A. So, all right. Uh, First question here uh, says, I'm currently using a CRM and there is a mobile app, but the, I think that's supposed to be, but I'm not able to, so I, I'm gonna summarize what they're, what they're saying here. So uh, it sounds like they're using a CRM and it's, they're not able to uh, utilize a lot of the features on the go. So this is actually very typical of many other, uh, many other uh, CRM platforms is, is they they just don't they don't they weren't built because they weren't built mobile first the mobile app is almost a, almost like an afterthought as opposed to something that uh, it was it was built based on to begin with and so uh, it's it's something that that uh, can be tough so uh, yeah so ours like I said ninety eight percent of what you what you can do on your computer you can do on the phone. Uh, it's it's pretty incredible. The things that you can't do, you wouldn't want to do on a phone anyways. Things like, uh, you know, building landing pages or things like that. There's, there'd be no reason to do that on a phone. Um, all right, and then uh, what do the smart plans consist of? So uh, I've got sort of some basic summary down here um, of sort of the categories of different types of smart plans. So, uh, you know, you know, like your your, uh, initial contact, so that's helping you with speed the lead. Uh, your uh, lead nurture process, so being able to convert people uh, based on their timeline. Your pipeline acceleration process, keeping you organized, keeping you uh, re ready to go, and all those notifications always uh, automatically prompting or automatically coming in. Um, the the uh, sphere of influence process, so helping you control that sphere of influence and everything, uh, obviously is important as well so um uh let's see here uh i'm currently using kv core what would you say the main differences are so uh kv core is a uh it, it would be a similar uh, a, a similar platform if you compared features side by side major differences are going to be uh one the website loading speed to the uh the ability to operate uh, mobile first. Um, what that does is that kind of forces our developers to actually simplify uh, the user interface, which drives uh, drives engagement and drives uh, interaction. Uh, also makes it easier to use on on the go uh, from from the mobile app. You can do, like I said, just about anything. Um, the other major differentiator would be the the, the dynamic Facebook uh, retargeting ads. Those are absolute game changer. Uh, they're driving conversion like crazy. Um, we're also getting ready to release our AI uh, chatbot. So our AI chatbot has, for our beta uh, testers, has risen our has risen their website form fill conversion by 60%. Think about that. If 60% more people who visit your site are filling out forms, how incredible that would be. Um, so those would be major differentiators with KV Core. Um, currently using Commissions Inc. Uh, what would you say the major differences? So again, differences are going to be website load speed. Uh, uh, your everything's built mobile first, um, and and the the innovation with with new things like the the chatbot and everything like that. Uh, the the reality is is just that. A lot of these other real estate specific softwares are just old 
technologies. They're built on an old code base. Ours is a new technology. It's innovative. Uh, this is, I, I've been in the technology space for the last 10 years. This is by far the most innovative uh, company I've ever seen. All right. Um, and can I get the link for the page again? Yep, there it is for everyone. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for attending. I appreciate your time and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and take care. Bye.